Welcome to FIFA Save My Life. Thank you very much for joining me today on this day that we do tactics. We, in fact, do the Idiot's Guide to Tactics for FIFA 22. And the reason I call it Idiot's Guide to Tactics, not because you're an idiot, not because I'm an idiot, not because anybody's an idiot, but I'm making it simple. And also, I'm looking at people like myself who are not the best, not elite, uh, but decent or want to be better at FIFA. The problem with a lot of the tactics videos you see these days you see your techs and your people are and it's all very well but they have a 50 million pa uh, coin squad uh, sat out there at minimum uh, and of course their tactics work uh, they are excellent players and they have a god squad so of course it works and then you wonder why when you're playing with your 100k squad why it's not quite performing the same way as he said in the video so uh, I've done lots of these videos over the time I'm relating to you hopefully as an equal or probably un just underneath uh, I am currently in division four ish uh, uh mid division four i'm kind of stuck at the moment and part of the reason i'm doing the video is exactly that uh, i was stuck for a long time uh, i kind of lost a lot of games i think some of the the negatives of this new system this new way of having uh, uh rivals is if you get to kind of your level you're just going to keep losing most of your games and then winning a couple and then losing a game and winning a couple and losing the games. Uh, and, and it's kind of soul-destroying, to be honest, until next season starts and then you're back to gaining, going up to maybe Division 4 or Division 3 again. And then, you know, kind of you, you've hit that plateau for 40 days where you just kind of lose and win again. Uh, so I don't know if that's the way it's going to end up being, uh, but I'm trying to get better so I can go up a division at least. And, and that's kind of my 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 sort of motivation towards what i'm doing and i thought i would share it with you i thought i would share how i'm uh, doing it and how i uh, you know the formation that i found the best uh, it's no big surprise it's not uh it's not a big secret but how do i use it it is of course the four two three one uh, i've been using four four two i've been using four three three uh, i've been using four three two one uh, i've used them all uh, i've done a video on the 442 still like 442 uh, but i found it was very open and especially with the drop back merchants uh, all back in like division uh, four and three uh, i'm finding it's hard to get past them because it's so open uh, you're letting yourself in for a goal or two and then they're shutting themselves down because they're drop back it's hard to get where the best of both worlds is uh, 4231 due to the fact it's very attacking but it at the same time it is actually rock solid when it comes to defending as well uh, so again i think this is the best formation and it's the one i've started winning with again uh, i've uh, managed to get myself to 100 wins in uh, foot friendlies uh, today I've, I've i've done 20 wins today just uh, I, I wanted to see if i could achieve it before six o'clock so then i could try one more time to get myself a ones to watch i did do that and I didn't get a once to watch. Boo hoo. Uh, but uh, guys, yeah, I, I thought I'd do it. And again, then I've gone back into rivals and started winning rivals. Uh, so it's nice and it, it's working. It's doing well. But I'm going to share it uh, to you as I understand it. And like I said, I'm going to I'm just basically showing you what I've got. So you can kind of see it's probably on a par with yourself. I'm obviously doing a, a, a poor man's road to glory this year. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have not spent too much so far. Again, I did pack myself a Ronaldo, uh, a CR7, and obviously got myself just over a million or so with it. Um, and I have a lot in the bank. I have still 800 odd grand, uh, 800 grand in the bank still. Uh, and I've bought a lot of investment co uh, cards. And I've also sort of smartened my team up a little bit as well, uh, which I'll go through in a sec and talk to you why I've got certain players in certain uh, positions and how they were. Before before we do anything more guys make sure you hit that like and subscribe it would take you a millisecond to do so but i'll give you a really good reason to do it uh, i support a charity this year called otr which is off the record you'll see them there just there uh, in the nice yellow logo it's a sexy logo let's be honest uh, it is off the record they deal with uh, 11 to 25 year olds they are uh, dealing with mental health issues they have various ways of doing it and they are amazing guys uh so uh yeah i'll be supporting if 
financially and also physically this year so by hitting that like by hitting that subscribe yeah get to support them as well and you get to give money to charity for nothing so why aren't you doing it that's all i can ask uh right uh let's get on with it so let's have a quick look at my team uh, as it is and and talk through it so an investment has been uh donnarumma uh, i needed a very good goalkeeper a lot of goalkeepers are obviously op this year uh, but i find donnarumma is just the king of goalkeepers at the moment uh, a lot of uh, finesse shots going in uh, with a lot of other goalkeepers donnarumma does seem to have that uh, uh that animation that does stop some so uh, again there's a little hint for you i do like him i did pack uh untradeable i think it was uh or tradable there you go uh, i did oh, I, I packed him and then i got rid of him stupidly uh, and then i've brought him back now uh which is ken Bembe. uh he is a a beast uh, an absolute beast um and uh, again obviously a strong link there to donnarumma i've got uh, a french compatriot there at left back and again the best left back in the game at this moment in time which is mende and he'll probably be the best left back in the game for quite a while knowing mende he was last year and he will be again now he's super fast he's amazing at dribbling uh, I've got that both with right backs uh, and left backs. Uh, they can dribble past players and, and, and set up attacks. And you will see that happening in any footage that I have. But yes, best left back in the game. At most expensive uh, purchase I've had, 120 grand. Uh, I did spend some of my money on that. But there you go. Uh, he is definitely worth it. Again, this guy I got uh, untradeable, first owner. And he is absolutely amazing. Probably the best defender uh, out of these two on the game and I've tried people like Upa Meccano and people are by far the best defender in the game although he's teeny tiny and seems to go up for every corner and uh, yeah doesn't score any because uh, he's teeny tiny uh, the best right back I've had so far and I've tried a lot I've had the Wan Bissakas I've had uh, uh, Trent's I've had uh, all of them to be fair um, I've gone through my lot and this guy I have played 85 games with he is absolutely outstanding not only is he great at defending but he is so good at going forward and setting up play for uh, Dembele which will have a look at it in a minute uh, my midfield is solid as a rock these are the two that are going to be holding uh, you'll see them in a minute but these two are absolute amazing guys if you didn't do uh um, and Wijnaldum uh, yeah should have uh, he will probably get an upgrade I don't know how many upgrades he'll get on performance because he's not actually playing uh, but they will definitely win 5 out of 10 uh, that's not an issue but yeah he'll go up by 1 then but the guy is an absolute beast he's very close to being Hullet Gang to be honest and he feels it in game he is absolutely brilliant this guy is an absolute true but he's probably the best midfielder card that I've had uh, I thought uh, someone like Allen would be a bit of a diamond this year this guy absolutely trans him uh really does he's all over the pitch uh the, you feel like you've got about 12 valverdes on the pitch he is all over it and uh, again brilliant tackling brilliant at passing uh just brilliant at doing everything to be honest he is absolutely outstanding again I have completed the player of month. Could not do it could not not do it at uh, one of the uh, he's fairly cheap and he's in form and he's brilliant. I was using his gold card for a while and really enjoyed it. Uh, and he has come into my cam position and he just looks amazing, to be fair, guys. He, he's he, he's brilliant. I've got him as a cam, so he's not scoring as many, but he's really good at setting stuff up. He's really good at winning in the air and, and, and sort of knocking stuff on. Uh, I'm really enjoying having uh, Benzema in there. And he's brilliant on the goal. He's absolutely fantastic at dribbling. At the moment, I've got, obviously, in Dembele, in there again quite an expensive purchase at 66 grand but his stats say it all he's obviously got that five star five star and again obviously he, he's super fast in that uh, right uh, ram position he's great at cutting in and he can score the odd goal as well uh, on the left hand side a bit more cultured a little bit better on the passing uh, very good on penalties by the way uh, is Hazard never thought I'd use him um, but I went out and bought him. He didn't cost me very much. I think he cost me four grand. And he's actually been really good. He is He's brilliant on the ball. He's great at dribbling. Uh, he's obviously got 99 dribbling. Now I've stuck the uh, the old paintbrush on there, the artist. Um, but he is very good. And he bangs in the odd goal or two. And he's, he's actually deceptively quick. Uh, really been a surprise. Four grand. Uh, been a real bargain. Obviously, today we've got a new... Uh, dem uh, 
the Pi out an 86 rated and obviously if you have the ones to watch he's got upgraded today I've still got the 85 I've only just been using him a little bit um, just getting used to him to be honest and uh, yeah he's he's doing well since I've started using him 17 games 12 goals 6 assists uh, I got him untradeable as you can see and uh, yeah absolutely brilliant i really like uh, him and he kind of fits into the the meta of the team he, he's he's kind of got that little bit about him he's got enough in the air to be able to win the odd ball but at the same time he's great on the ball uh, he's great on with his feet and, he, and he's good at shooting the ball and uh burying it at the back of the net so yeah uh, i've got some nice players to come off the bench as well i've got son who i bring on every game uh, he usually ends up going up front and, and smacking in a goal or two i've got de Jong who comes on for one of the two holding midfielders who usually absolutely pooped by that time uh, i've got pedro to come on i've got Grealish to come on i've got you the kaku if i'm if i feel i kind of need a little bit more power up there uh, i've got the subs to come on and that's quite important but let's get on with the actual tactics themselves you can see i obviously set up for chem at uh, 433 uh, but it doesn't stay that way so we go into custom tactics you can see my custom tactics there i do have a 433 and i have a 433 so i've got an attacking 433 and a defensive 433 i'm not going to go through those today because it's very different than 4231 and i kind of find i'm just sticking with the 4231 and it works very well both defensively and 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 sort of attacking uh, so we're going to focus on this one today i go all to ultra attacking i just know it's there then if i if i smack it right a couple of times so let's have a look at the actual tactics themselves uh, we have pressure on heavy touch uh, this is why players get a little bit tired uh, but uh, they, it really is worth it they do close down although players are very OP at closing down in this game at the moment uh, this just makes them that little bit more OP and really does make a difference uh, if you go too far and you go you know press after loss you've had it in the roll out of position uh, especially the same with constant pressure I've tried a constant pressure a couple of times when I'm, I'm desperate i've stopped doing it because it doesn't work all it does is just put your players well out of position this fifa uh, this just gives them enough to kind of just press and that's what you want uh you press in now i've kept it nice and simple it's 50 width uh nice and easy 50 width uh, it gives enough you've got you've not opened too much at the back uh, but you've also got enough that if they're coming down the wings you can close them down both with your holding midfielders and your right and left back uh, it works an absolute treat uh, depth i don't know why i've got 52 <laughs> it's 50 uh, i've kept with 50 as well uh, this is nice and easy as you can see uh, we've got build up play balanced i have tried everything so i've tried slow build up awful uh, again the game's too slow well not too slow but it's slow enough as it is uh, i like it slow but it's slow enough as it is this just almost becomes like it's going backwards it's no good whatsoever fast build up again not great uh, it, they seem messy they seem sort of out of position uh, on fast build up. long ball i like uh, i like long ball but again i find they're offside an awful lot more than they should be with long ball uh, so i go balanced uh, and the same with chance creation this is a new one this year uh, chance creation again you could have possession don't like that they seem to huddle up too much uh, and always looking for the short ball doesn't work forward runs again kind of a little bit like long ball uh, they do go offside a lot i quite like forward runs again i've used it quite a lot and had a bit of success with it but i do find it uh it opens up a bit too much and then they, they get offside an awful lot direct passing is one that a lot of the pros using uh again i've just i've just found it not really working but i do understand what it is it means the the player comes short for the ball and then obviously another player will make uh, a decent run i've just found it depends on the intelligence of the players that you've got and, and how high they are at the level i'm talking about direct passing really isn't it i like balanced because it allows you to have a bit of everything a little bit of everything in there uh, direct passing if you've got like you, you you know your neymars and your mbappes and your messies and your you know your ronaldo's and your you know all that lot then yes maybe you can probably utilize direct passing a little bit more but i find balanced is definitely the way forward it it, it it's more balanced uh we've got a nice 50 width again going forward you don't need too much because the wing the, the right back and left back definitely hug the sidelines a little bit more and make themselves available you'll see the instructions in a minute on why uh, and the same 
same with the ram and lamb uh, they both seem to be sort of milling around on the outside and you don't have a problem getting out wide uh, and in fact i use the width quite a lot and 50 is more than enough i think if there's any more you open up your back line you open up your midfield to have big gaps in it i think 50 just seems to be absolutely perfect at the moment uh, players in the box I've obviously got uh, uh, seven. Uh, again, I want to encourage my lamb, my ram, my cam, and my striker to be in there. Uh, the only people who don't go in there is my two holding midfielders. They, they, you'll see in a minute, they tend to mill around on the edge of the box and help bring the ball back and, and recycle the ball back into the box again. Uh, corners, I have two just because that's my personal preference. A lot of people seem to have one because you get caught on the counter. I find that uh, with counters, again, I with the two holdings, they do tend to end with the speedy right back and left back and a speedy winger. They tend to be back and you're able to kind of neutralize the counter. Uh, but if you don't have those, then I would certainly go one depth and free kicks. To be fair, free kicks are a waste of time unless you... Uh, are very good at taking them directly uh, so as you can see that's the formation where it comes out uh, you can see where everybody is now you've got obviously Mende left back and Bembe and Koyundu there uh, you've obviously got Navas there at right back as well you've got Wijnaldum and Valverde there and you're holding midfielders uh, again both of them are brilliant at uh, defending but also very good going forward as well so you've got that uh, ball playing holding midfielder instead of just a ball uh, just a basically a blunt tool there uh, you've got Hazard and Dembele there left and right uh, which again like I said they almost act like wingers and they do cut in and it works really well with Benzema almost becoming a second striker with Depay uh, they tend to swap over quite a lot and both of them are able to be a that cam or striker and it, it, it just works where they're able to sort of swap in and out Benzema is better than the air Depay is better on the floor it, it works really well and if I'm going to get someone else instead of Depay I'm probably looking at a, an icon at the moment I'm very very tempted with Ian Rush because I just like the fact that he's a bit taller he's good with his feet but he's also very lethal on the ground and I think that will probably be a good replacement uh, so there you go guys this is the uh, instructions as it is uh, uh, we've obviously not touched anything on the goalkeeper I think this year especially do not touch anything on the goalkeeper I found if you try to do anything the goalkeeper acts really weird uh, especially at corners I've had a few where the corner comes in and it kind of just flashes past him and it doesn't and he doesn't move uh, where corners they're really good at if you have it on balance they kind of come out grab it they don't drop it they don't punch it or anything like that where actually if you put an instruction on it I found that the goalkeepers almost stand there watching the ball because you've overridden their natural ability to go out and get there and obviously the fact that they're OP at the moment so yeah I would just highly recommend leaving the keepers alone uh, same with obviously uh, the centre backs just on balance to leave them alone as well now we have uh, the right back and left back uh, again I have Mende this is different slightly than Navas uh, so I have stay back while attacking and overlap uh, that is important overlap because it allows them to go on the outside of the pitch rather than cutting in and getting in the way of say Wijnaldum or Hazard's uh, sort of run uh, it keeps them on the outside and it gives you an overlap and it gives you someone to pass to because you can actively push them up the pitch but they will naturally because they're attacking right backs and left backs they will naturally kind of creep up on their own anyway now I have step up this is a new thing for this FIFA at uh, due to the fact that it allows them to kind of almost it kind of ask for the ball at a deeper uh, sort of position so they will move up the pitch and almost be uh, sort of next to Wijnaldum asking for the ball to then play on to Hazard so it's really useful for a right back or a left back who is a good ball player someone who is able to play with the ball able to pass the ball really well has that great passing which obviously Mende does which is why he's so expensive uh, so I have step up on him and I know if I'm going to play it down the left I've got a little bit more of an outlet than uh, on the right now the reason being and I'll quickly explain so again you've got the mentality of what this formation does for you the reason Mende steps up is he's faster than Hazard he is able to step up and actually succeed at Hazard Hazard will almost stay 
still sometimes and let Mende go past him. Uh, and uh, Mende is obviously faster and probably as skillful, if not a little bit more skillful, than someone like Hazard. Where on the other side, although Jesus Nazas is very fast, Dembele is also very fast. So I don't need Navas to do that stepping up and overlapping job because uh, Dembele is more than good enough to be able to do it himself. Uh, so that is the reason for it. And that is the reason why we have uh, Jesus uh, Navas on stay back and overlap, not on on uh, step up. So that's why I have that because I know mentally on the left hand side I'm going to get a little bit more action from the left hand side than the right hand side the right hand side is almost kick and run where the left hand side is almost I've got to play it up and I've got that chance to sort of almost counter attack on the left hand side so you just get your mentality uh, right with that so that is the back line we then have the back two. Now, again, I've got different instructions on them due to the fact that they're different players. Uh, so we have uh, Wijnaldum. We have him on basic defensive. Uh, you could uh, put him on cut passes. You could put him on man mark. But I just have him on basic. I, I, he's so intelligent. Let him make his own mind up. I have him on stay back while attacking and cover center because I just don't want him. You could have him on basic on everything and cover center. But I just don't want him up there. I've got enough up there i've got four players up there already i want to stop people attacking and i want to be able to counter with the speed that i've got up there so when aldum is great ball player uh, so let's utilize that let's win the ball back at deep and then pass it on to hazard pass it across to do a switch to dembele uh, or straight you know get a, a nice through ball to depay or benzema uh, and score a goal so that is why i have him on that where valverde is very different because valverde is a little bit more aggressive valverde is a little bit more of a natural defensive midfielder but again a amazing ball player so i on this one i have cut passing lanes because i want him to be that little bit more aggressive in that defensive position but i also still have stay back and cover center so that is why i have the two on different so again you kind of have to understand why these things are happening and have that kind of player in there i'm not saying you have to go out and get an identical team to me uh, because it's not the greatest team ever and i'm still trying to look to make uh nice in, uh, sort of upgrades to it i'm kind of waiting for sbcs to come out which i could be waiting until i'm old uh, because they don't seem to have any coming out but i'm waiting to sort of see what comes out as sbcs to see if it replaces or, or makes my team better really rather than just going out and spending coins but Valverde is incredible value uh, and the same with Wijnaldum both of them doing it and again you could go out and just get the gold Wijnaldum he's 84 at the moment and will be identical uh, so we have the Ram and uh, the, the Ram and Lamb uh, as they are uh, we have Hazard and Dembele very simple uh, basic defensive I, a lot of people have them come back I don't want them to do that because they'll be knackered uh, I want them to uh, again make their own mind up but I want them to get in the box that's all I've got on them is get in the box I don't have anything else on them other than getting the box i don't want them to cut inside i don't want them to come back i don't want to be aggressive i don't want them to be uh, a free uh, free roll or anything like that. it's just nice and simple get them into the box because they're important they're going to score me goals uh, a lot of the time if dempelli has got the ball uh, you and he's on the you know on the, almost on the corner flag and I'm cutting in ready to cross it Hazard will be right next to Benzema and Depay uh, he will be right there so I've got my three man strikers in there and vice versa if Hazard's got it or Mende's got it down the wing at the left hand side Dembele will be in there and again with that five star five star he is lethal when he gets the uh, volley on or anything like that uh, so again that's the reasoning behind that one uh, we have Benzema he is my cam at uh and basically stay forward uh, he becomes a second striker a deeper a a false nine if you like uh, he will become a false nine he drops uh, into midfield and he's so good on the ball he's strong uh, and he's good in the air so again he's ideal in that position but when he starts running forward you know he's got a hell of a shot on him uh, and he will score goals so that is uh, why Benzema is there instead of just being up front. I find him a little bit too slow to be up front on his own. Uh, again, if he was in a twosome, then yes, I would probably put him up front uh, with someone. But as a cam, I think he's absolutely perfect. He starts as a CF, so it's kind of a natural thing uh, to just drop back that little bit more and become a cam. But he fits perfectly, absolutely perfectly. Still out at the moment, I would say definitely do him if uh, you've got any players that could link to him. Uh, the reason I've got 
got to pay up there is just because I don't have anybody else at the moment and it's kind of it fits with the team and he's decent he's kind of player kind of the player that I want but probably not quite as good and uh, he's the only one that I kind of think I want to replace but this is the instructions that I have on him I have stay central and get in behind and stay forward that is the ultimate I want you doing nothing else but staying up front running the back line I want you pushing the defenders uh, and I want you there if I put a through ball through with Ronaldo with Hazard with Valverde uh, even with like Navas and that I want you to be on your toes at, and hopefully get a one-to-one -one with the keeper maybe chip him maybe hit it under him uh, that's what I want you to do you've got a bit of skill you can round the keeper etc that is why he is there uh, he's not the fastest uh, again he's in the 80s when it comes to speed so again stay central get in behind and stay back uh, stay forward is really essential because he's not that fast so I need him to have a bit of an edge by literally being on that last man again it does catch you offside every now and again but the idea is obviously he is on that last man he's got the turn on him and you've got that little bit of uh, space to, to make a run into the box and hopefully put it in the back of the net now that is my team guys that is uh how they are set up uh, and how i play uh them at the moment i'll be honest i'm playing that all game uh, i am playing that literally all game the only thing i do go in there is uh, uh i do go naughtily if i'm one nil up and i'm hanging on for dear life uh and i'm doing quite well but not well enough i will go in there and change it from uh uh, uh kind of pressing to drop back uh, for the last 10 15 minutes just to hold off the to, to hold off the 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 win basically which is important especially in rivals uh, so that is why i do that but again you can manually do that rather than having to set up a second team and drop back and all the rest of it you can just pause it go in there uh, and do a drop back just for the last 10 minutes uh, and and that's why i do it guys one of the last hints i'll do just because you have managed to stay with me this long thank god um is because uh, it is harder to score this year, I've watched an awful lot of videos, I've watched an awful lot of pros, and you might not be aware, obviously, if you shoot the goalkeeper, especially in the area, is amazing. If you're very good at uh, finesse shots from outside the area, yet you get a lot of luck with that, and you have to have some finesse players to do that. Uh, I'm not actually not that great at finessing, so again, it's not something I use. So I end up working, I, t I tend to have like 70% possession, uh, and I work it into the box a lot, and I was finding I was working into the box, but I just wasn't I was shooting I was getting like 20 shots off and I was still losing like 2-1 or something ridiculous like that and they were having like 9 shots watched a lot of videos one thing I would say if you are struggling to score goals and especially if you're in the area master the low driven shot it seems to be a little bit of a crack in the, uh, the, the system at the moment guys I don't know how long it will stay there but the, the animation of the goalkeeper seems not to be able to where they the way they can handle when you shoot normally and, and it's kind of you know sort of uh, arm height if you like they seem to save it massively and again they do the double the triple saves and that because you're just hitting it and it's at that height the animation seems to be able to take hold of that now if you hit a low drive you don't seem they don't seem to be able to uh, take hold of that so well and it seems to just go under them a lot of the time uh, so again guys if you don't know what a low trot is uh, you you'll literally just have to press the r1 and l1 when you shoot with the circle or whichever one it is with the the, the xbox uh, but basically it's r1 and l1 at the same time that you shoot and that will make a your player give a low driven shot now with that like I said, I found that incredibly useful and it's part of the reason my team has turned around and started winning games now where I was losing a lot of games and I mean a lot of games uh, and I was contemplating why I was playing FIFA. Uh, it, it's turned around a lot. The formation is a lot to do with it but also uh, I have now mastered the fact that every time I get it in the box I will at least try to create a little bit of space and then put a low driven shot, especially if I've got a one-to-one -one with the keeper at chips these, this year isn't so good unless you've got a nice clear chip. Uh, uh, the goalkeeper still manages to pull off a save, uh, but if you do a low driven shot, you're almost guaranteed to score sort of one out of two of them, uh, which is really important if you're getting like 10 shots off. So that is my hint of the day, guys. If you've got this far, hopefully that helps a little bit, uh, but that has been 
win at the uh, 4 2 3 1 idiot's guide at uh, the nice simple couldn't explain it better i uh, couldn't explain it more and uh, hopefully it's on your level because these players should be the kind of players that you've got in your team you might have better you might have worse uh, but they will be fairly similar and you can go out and buy, build yourself a similar type team uh, for not very many coins it, everything is super cheap at the moment still there you go guys uh, thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it take care of yourself as always and if you can, find someone who can. Bye-bye.